to show you this Sex in the City inspired look. I just saw the movie last weekend with my girlfriends and I loved a whole bunch of their looks. And one that stuck to my memory the most was the one of Carrie while they were at the poolside. I love the way she had her hair done and it was something similar to this. If you want to see how I obtain this look with short hair, keep on watching. The first thing we are going to have to try to achieve is to add texture to our, our hair. If your hair normally has texture, like if you have very thick hair or if your hair is curly, perfect. But if you don't, like me, I have fine and I have um, limp hair, uh, either tease it a bit or put some hot rollers through it. What you'll need is a, uh, a, comb, a brush or a comb, some product, so a hairspray, a, um, it, this is pretty much a key item. Um, the reason being is because we're going to tuck our hair underneath this. I don't know if you can just get away with any headband, but this is from Goody. It's a headband that kind of is round and it's stretchy. So pretty much, I don't know if you'll be able to substitute this item, but something that you'll be able to tuck your hair underneath. Um, you'll need a pretty scarf, something like this, something with a pretty design. I wanted to make it give it more of a pizzazz, so I found these earrings that I purchased from Forever 21 last year, and I'm gonna hang this in the front like a jewel, just to give it more of that Arabic inspired look. Also give volume to the side because the whole look of this is we're going to grab all this length I have here and we are going to tuck it underneath and I'm going to have hair shoulder length pretty much so something like that and now my hair is so limp that it doesn't do a good job of hiding all this back here so that's why I'm teasing this back here to give it more volume so I can hide all this hair underneath Okay, so right now what we're going to do is place this, and you'll see how I'm doing it. And then in the back, you're going to give yourself the length, the desired length you want, okay, like this. Just grab this here and pull it to your desired length, okay, like this. Okay, like that. Now pin the rest of the hair underneath. Okay, so now you should have short hair. Now, if you're going to go out dancing or you're going to go out and have, you know, go out and have a lot of movement with your hair go ahead and put a lot more bobby pins than I did reinforce it a lot better than I did I have to see what the back looks like because if anything looks funny back there I'm gonna have to tease it more okay so let me see what that looks like you see how funny that looks there because that's where we're hiding all the hair so kind of move it around So that doesn't poke out like that. Okay. And don't worry about that bump that looks funny there because when you put the scarf, it's going to flatten that. So don't worry about that. So go ahead and give it a little bit of a spray. And this fell out. I kind of like how that looks. If you don't like that, you can just pretty much tuck it underneath. So give this a little bit of a tease if you want. 
You see how this is just laying flat, how boring. So I'm gonna tease this a little bit, which this is my bangs. Now grab your scarf and we're gonna put it over this. You're not gonna see how to see any of that. And then we will reinforce it so the scarf doesn't move. I just wanna use this part. I don't wanna use that. Even though that looks pretty, I don't wanna use that part because I wanna put the jewel on there. So I'm gonna use that part. Another tip to keep your scarf from shifting is put a band of hairspray around where your scarf is gonna be lying where your scarf is going to be at, which is kind of around like this. And while your, the hairspray is still wet, put the scarf on there. While the hairspray is still wet, don't worry, we'll move this down, so don't worry. Okay, while the hairspray is still wet, Put the scarf on. Okay, so right now just make it look to your desired how you, you know, how messy and how, how much movement you want it to have. Just improvising. And I'm going to put this pretty earring that I've dropped a million times. I'm going to put this pretty earring, something like that. So I'm just going to tuck it in. The scarf. That's why I pulled, I put the, the folded part here so I can tuck the earring in there. And then, of course, you can reinforce it with a safety pin if you like. So something like that. And then I'll tuck this guy in because I don't want it to look like, you know, too, too much. I don't want it to look you know, too costume either. Okay. Hope you like it. It was very simple and I did it myself. So it's, I didn't have any help to pin my hair or anything like that. And it looks like I have short hair. My hair is long as you, you know, as you guys know, and I got it to a pretty short length. And that's the final look. I'm gonna give you a 360. Just keep in mind this is something that's very fun. It's supposed to look a little messy. It's not supposed to be very neat. And I achieved very short hair from very natural long hair that I have. So, you know, play with it and make it your own. And if you do attempt the look, I would love to see a response video. Just go ahead and post a response video and I would love to see that. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.